Hey everyone, Mr. Rusty here. A team of forensic scientists has managed to extract DNA from a 4,000-year-old mummy, finally solving this 4,000-year-old mystery. The Egyptian mummy wasn't a full preserved corpse, but it was actually a decapitated, mutilated, and bandage-wrapped head that archaeologists found originally in 1915. They found the site in 1915, but when they went inside, the place was completely ransacked, and the mummy itself was desecrated. So this was also not only people looting for antiquities, but it was also desecrating a corpse. It's also reported that they set the place on fire to cover their tracks. The tomb was already known to be the tomb of Jehutinacht, which was a governor from the Egyptian Middle Kingdom, and it was robbed in ancient times. The mummy's head was tested. Here's the head being tested itself. The head was slightly different. Here's a photo of the head. You don't normally see heads like this. You normally see them fully wrapped in bandages. So this was a desecrated corpse. And here's also a 3D imaging of the bones. You can see during the mummification process the bones were removed or something happened, not really sure. But the DNA is what we are here for. The DNA analysis showed that the head was most likely male. And in other words, it belonged to Jehutinak and not his wife. They also did some testings on the tooth dust samples and the DNA was damaged, but it showed that this was not modern contamination. This is an ancient mummy. So if you're interested in more information on this interesting story, let me know in the comments and I'll post it.